Now a Florida native who lives in Knoxville is gathering supplies for hurricane survivors. Many lost power, as we mentioned, cell phone service, cars and homes. It's a different place now. 10 News reporter Jacinta Renders shows us the work of one volunteer in Knoxville to help people recover in her hometown. Jacinta. John, although Elizabeth Dressel has been living in Knoxville for nearly 20 years, she still calls Florida home. She's been in contact with friends and relatives in her hometown and says because of all the damage, she has to do something. I was just at Fort Myers Beach a few weeks ago, and I just can't believe it. They And when my brother told me that the images on the news don't do any justice, my my heart sank. Elizabeth Dressel says what's happening in her home state right now is devastating. When she got a call from her father, she knew it was bad. My dad is a Vietnam veteran and he does not ask for help. And he asked me to come down there. That is how bad it is. Hurricane Ian touched down in Florida this week, causing catastrophic damages, flooding and power outages. Um, cell service has been horrible. Um, so a lot of people are just staying home and the roads aren't clear. Dressel says in a few days she will drive 12 hours to help her relatives and other people affected with anything they need. I'm going to leave early Monday morning and drive down. Um, I have about a 30 foot trailer I'm trying to fill with supplies. My brother is going to distribute the supplies um, through the fire department to the people that need it most. Items that will help people get by. Water, gas cans, flashlights, non-perishable food items. Dressel moved to Knoxville in 2004 after Hurricane Charlie. Her family in Florida says Ian seems worse. There are so many people that have lost everything. Dressel is from Cape Coral, Florida. She is taking donations for her trip to help hurricane survivors uh, down in her hometown. We will have information on how to donate on, on WBIR.com.